guys. It's a little something different for me. But I just had to share this with you. I was in Ross, the discount store, a few days ago. And I happened to see this Black Series Star Wars stuff from Hasbro. All there, liquidated. You can see you have the three-pack Rogue One of the Death Trooper, Captain Cassian, and Sergeant Jen Urso. And here you have Director Krennic. And here you have um, the six-inch Black Series First Order Special Forces TIE Fighter with pilot. You see the... Hopefully you can see that right there. You can see it was $69.99. And today's video is actually to see at this deep cut if this TIE Fighter was actually worth $69.99. It says comparable value of $150, but I know for sure that um, Toys R Us had this at $179.99 last year, uh, around the Christmas holidays. So obviously, they didn't sell so well because my local Ross had three of these, and another Ross a little further away from me had two. So obviously it's still a big ticket item so we'll see if it's actually worth it so we're actually going to be unboxing the tie fighter today okay well i got the side of the box open so you can see there's the box there's the pilot Just look how massive these wings are I mean, I thought maybe somehow you could convert this to a drone, but judging by the size of this thing, I don't think so. All right, let's get this out of the box. All right, it's all laid out on a table. What comes in the box? Well, you have the main pilot's, uh, well, I guess we can call that a a sphere these big massive wings and luckily I believe these wings are pretty straight because some of the videos I saw on this some of the wings are a little bent I know it's real common in the three and three point seven five inch TIE fighters but these wings are so substantial and rigid so and then what else comes in the box uh, got the cockpit hatch uh, some guns, the aerial, we'll get to all of that. A little brochure here. It's basically an assembly instructions. Pretty straightforward, I think. And the pilot. So, let's get this thing snapped together. Ah, uh, wow. This thing is huge. So the assembly was literally about 15 seconds. You have to pop this aerial on, pop these lower guns on, and pop the hatch in. And that is it. And of course, your uh, solar panels. I, I would love to give you some scale here. I guess I could use a tape measurer and uh, wow, I'm just still trying to grasp this. This is almost insane. A couple of things I'm seeing here is uh, maybe you can see this. Inside this plastic, it almost looks like stress marks. Not stretch marks, but stress marks. As if something funny was going on inside the mold at the time that this was poured. But, I mean, that's nothing structural. Uh, structurally wrong with this thing no not at all I'm, I'm just still trying to grasp the size of this thing this is a, a monster and in another thing is uh one interview one interview one video on this a review it was a great re uh, video I think it was from um, pixel Dan he said he was having a lot of trouble getting the TIE Fighter pilot to actually sit down inside of here without doing its legs, bending its legs in some 
funny shape uh, awkward and unnatural so I, I'm eager to get in there and check that out but I'm not ready to get the, to the pilot yet I want to actually get inside the cockpit and take a good look stay tuned all right well I think that's plenty of light in there so you can really get a feel of how much detail and quality the sculpt is inside that cockpit it, it is amazing I'm I'm very impressed but again with something this size it's a lot easier to pull that sculpt off than it is with the three and three quarter inch size TIE fighter that is pretty amazing we're gonna get to some measurements here real soon and it looks like this will accommodate two figures I don't know about comfortably but definitely two figures because if you look you got a waist retention straps here and then on this side as well one two so yeah that will hold your figure in and that looks like this comes out to get those guys in there a little bit easier and that's pretty amazing all right moving on giving you a quick shot of the bottom uh, these were already installed this had to be snapped into place very very simple nice free moving cannons as you can see this thing is just a monster but we will break out a three and three quarter inch tie fighter to uh, compare this to sometime in this video a little bit of red paint right there you can see but overall I, I really like the red with the with the dirt weathering that's really nice all right moving on to the figure uh, typical six inch black series which get this popped out comes with a weapon let's see if I can get this out with one hand I mean, you could. There's a layer of dust all over here. I mean, obviously, this thing's been moved around and kicked from store to store, or warehouse to warehouse. You know, let's get him out of his package. All right. So, let's see articulation. I'm not very good with these uh, six-inch black series. I don't usually collect them. It's the three and three quarters I collect. So I'm just gonna not talk much about the articulation as I am so much going to show you because uh, again I don't know all the uh, terminology for these joints but he looks like he's uh, pretty flexible if I should say so myself let's see if we can get some I'm trying here bear with me get some up and down movement Let's see ab crunch yeah ab crunch fully rotatable 360 degree rotator cuff did that in real life you'd need to see a doctor immediately but <laughs> I digress 360 degree movement on the hands and yeah I mean this thing is really articulated okay well next thing is let's get him in the ship I'm sure you guys seen reviews on black series a thousand times so curious thing is see if he sh fits in the ship uh, really well so yeah I like the way he holds his gun nice got a death grip on it very nice well I got him in there it took me about four minutes to get him in there and I had to take the hatch off just so I could have more room but I got him in there with his legs down in front of him in a natural sitting position. And, uh, yeah, he fits good, but he's in there tight, that's for sure. It's not like you're going to be taking him in and out. Just want to point out that that TIE Fighter pilot with the red stripes down his face is an, is an exclusive to this ship only. As far as I know, I can't find him in an individual box, so he only must come with this ship. So let's get him stood straight up and look through that window. 
this is the view from the back with those smoked windows and you can see his silhouette of the back of his head through here that is really really tough that is nice all right let's look at the front so now we're looking through the front of the ship thank god i have a light that will aim down inside the cockpit but you can see him sitting in there like he's uh the baddest ass of all i just can't get over the detail inside that cockpit it's amazing so yeah is it worth the 170 dollars well i see some quality control issues that i would be addressing for 170 dollars however for 69.99 plus tax i think i uh I think I scored a good one here. It's, it's a, and it's always nice to get an exclusive figure where you, you know, you can only have that figure if you bought this ship. And that is really cool. And uh, I'm going to give you some measurements, but also I'm going to bring in a three and three quarter inch TIE fighter so you can see the difference. All right, well, there's your difference. So if you guys own a three and three quarter inch TIE Fighter, there is a good scale comparison for the 6 inch Black Series and the 3 and 3 quarter inch Black Series. Get a peek in here. I don't know if he's sporting a pilot or not. He is. And uh, something interesting here too. This thing will also accommodate uh, two, three, and three-quarter inch uh, figures. But one sits, they sit side by side. But one sits facing this way and one sits facing that way. So basically they're looking at each other. Now let's move this one out of the way. Inside this big guy, they literally sit back to back. Helmets touching one another if you will it's it's how big this thing is it's, it's, it, I, I still can't wrap my head around it so we have this type uh, x-wing fighter from Jack's Pacific and I'm willing to bet it's about the same scale so if I was to hang this up you could actually create a pretty neat battle scene between the two so yeah anyway guys this is um, December 24th, 2017, and I know the Ross Discount Stores have quite a bit of these. So, if you're interested in one of these TIE Fighters for $69.99, get your asses over there. Pick one up because it's well worth the money. It's a lot easier nut to crack at $69.99 than $179.99. Well, I hope this helps you. Oh, you know what? Before I go, I got a few other items. Let's take a look at those other items real quick. Basically, let's talk about prices here. Uh, you have Director Krennic. Now, I know this was originally a $21 figure. Well, it's uh, $7.99. You see? I'm not going to unbox these. I'm sure you guys have unboxed your own 6-inch figures before. Just giving you an idea. This is what you can find for $7.99 at Ross. And this one here, I paid $12.99 for. This is three Black Series Rogue One figures. You have the Death Trooper, Captain Cassian Andor, and Sergeant Jen uh, Urso. Again, $12.99. I mean, get your asses to Ross. You know, I'm sure... They're going to be hanging around for a while. After all, they've hung around for over a year. And they ended up at a liquidation store. So, yeah, just a heads up, guys. Thanks.